All right, so Twisted League without the ancestral, I don't know if it's worth it. But now, after a second thought, I kind of want to do a small project on here. I'm gonna try to complete solo raids on the Twisted League from scratch. So Sayer only, and yeah, try to do a solo raid without dying, and maybe try to do a few more. We'll see if it's if it's really fun. So yeah, completely new game mode, completely new rules. It's gonna be wild. There's gonna be a lot of explaining, but yeah, man, let's go. Make the account and get started. Whoa, what the hell? Yo, that's sick, man. They gave me automatically 15 agility and 3 herblers. So that means, you know, I can already do the agility herbler stuff without doing the quest. That's sick. That is sick. Hell yeah, of course, endless endurance, man. I'm trying to do solo race, man. Doing solo race without stamina's? Ever needed? Hell yeah, I'm down for that. <laughs> Shout out to my boy Bomb for helping me figure some stuff out to start off, you know. Uh, I want to go and loot this chest in the Shaman Temple, the place I used to kill uh, shamans with a Warhammer and Juan. It's level 64 thieving, but this chest gives a lot of good stuff. The most important thing is the Serex Talisman. So yeah, I can get it from there and it also gives me the fangs too that I can use to charge it with teleporting. So if I unlock that, I can teleport all across Zaya, which will be super useful for everything that I do. And also, you get medium clues from it too. And uh, you can guarantee to do the medium clues because they're all going to be steps in Zaya. So I might be able to get some really good stuff from the medium clues as well. Some money, some runes, some armor, yada yada. And yeah, a bunch of other cool stuff that I can get. So that's the goal. Get to 64 thieving so I can uh, go ahead and make some money and unlock some good teleports. So... Bro, this is nuts. I'm getting like 80k thieving experience an hour. Stealing cakes! My guy. Level 5, dude. I can just get 64 thieving just spamming this for a little bit. 64 is a joke at this rate, you know? I'll be like 64 in like a few hours or less. Nice. Just got 30 thieving. I'm just gonna grab some more cakes. I'm gonna get like uh, 200 cakes. That should be enough food for like whatever while. And uh, I'm gonna hit up some fruit stalls because... Uh, yeah, there is some good fruits in the stalls over there. I want to see if it's worthwhile. Because if I can get some strange fruits from the fruit stall, I, I can use it as uh, anti-poison. Which is nice, because if I'm going to do the stone chest at the Lizardman Shaman, I will get poisoned, so. So, the Twisted League is a two-month limited time game mode where you're restricting Zaya, and, and the goal is to compete with other people. Normally, normally, because there are tasks that you can do. They're uh, ranging from skilling to PVM related, so some of the tasks are obviously ranked from easier to the hardest, and yeah, they give the appropriate points, and the people that have the highest points by the end of the two months, you know, they win like prizes, mostly just like trophies and stuff, but yeah, I'm not here to play too silly for these, uh, you know, ranks though, I'm here for a personal challenge as you already know, alright, 194 cakes, that's good enough, let's go test some, some uh, fruit stalls, on the southern part of Hosidius. Wait, get away from there? Oh, favor? 0%? Aww. Damn, I can't do this until I get favor to 15%. Alright. Damn it, dude. Everyone's taking the plows. Aw, well, I didn't... Damn, I didn't know this would be limited. That's actually but. Alright, so it is pretty much impossible right now to get favorite through the plowing uh, so i'm actually gonna do a quest i think there's two quests i can do clan Karen and also the uh hosidius quest that should give me 50 percent. so let's go do the quest instead yo having infinite runs so fucking nice dude i gotta run all across zaya but it really doesn't feel feel like i'm you know taking forever to get to the places without teleport so all right finish clan Karen in record time so yeah, man, we're gonna use the favor on Hosidius. I might regret it, but you know, YOLO, man. I need to, you know, steal me some freaking fruits. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna do crafting just because at level three, I can already make attack potions. I have newts are super easy to get uh, in Zaya, you know, it's like in the store. So so yeah, if I ever need to train, Herbal shouldn't really be an issue. Crafting sounds like a bitch. Like the logistics for getting crafting levels is just like an absolute struggle, so. Oh, I get two lamps? That's sick. Okay. Yeah, that's awesome, dude. You already got me all the way to 20 crafting, so... Oh, that's crazy. That's crazy. I can already... I can already make Cerician hats, Cerician rope bottoms. 
two more levels and I can make the Sarishan top. That's easy. I think we're good. I'll be able to gain the rest of the levels making the lower level Sarishans. Yeah, this is definitely way better than stealing cakes, man. I'm getting 140k an hour easy. So yeah, I should be able to get to 64 thieving for the Sarishan chest super easily. So with this method, I can easily blaze to 64 in a little bit under 3 hours. Holy crap, that's nuts. Hmm, might come handy. Yo, this guy's getting double dogged. <laughs> oh my god, there's two of these guys. Oh shit, don't kill me, please. Oh fuck, I'm gonna die if I let them hit me anymore. Oh shit, this is dangerous, but I like to live dangerously. Hey, just hit 50 thieving, so... I'm at, uh, what do we got here? 300k more XP to go, so... Yeah, two more hours, and, uh, I will be looting some freaking... This is so nice. I'm just getting stuff done passively. Holy shit. I'm already at 260 points, man. I can unlock some relics in. So, uh, all the relics I'm going for, they're all just, uh, gonna be combat-related. It doesn't show, but on the wiki... I already know what they are. What? What? This guy? Wait, who got that? Who got the freaking Rocky pet? No way, dude. Holy shit. This guy literally got the pet. I thought it was just another giant dog trying to kill somebody, but... Damn, that's sick, man. You get a lot of uh, points. You get a lot of points for getting the pets. And you can also transfer over to the next uh, leak when it comes out in I don't know how long. Come on, this is it. No, one more. One more action. Oh, man. Two hours and, like, probably a half of picking from the fruit stall later. I can now steal from the chest in the Lizardman Temple. Here's some of the loots. I managed to get a, a 123 strange fruit, which is going to be nice because uh, it resets poison, so... And I got some papaya, some pineapples, berries. These are... Uh, super compost material, so I might need to do some farming for like more points and stuff to unlock relics, so yeah man, super compost ready. I'm not sure what I can do with this other than making the pies, but maybe I can super compost this as well. So let's go, time to get started. Okay, I have some cakes, I have some anti-poison, so I need to just sneak my way into the temple without any of these guys hitting me. Ah, uh, they're gonna hit me, but that's okay. Oh my god, I already damaged, but it's okay. Yes! Hell yeah, bro. Strange fruit came in clutch, man. No longer poison. Oh, four pieces for the legs? I can make the hat then. Uh, I think I'll make a set for myself. Ooh, I just gained a crafting level from that. Easy game. Oh, I can't even wear it yet. 20 magic and 10 defense, but I'll just keep a set for myself, I guess. I get 3% per chest opening, dude. That's actually nuts. Even with all this fails, my XP per hour is 300,000. That's actually ridiculous. Yes, this is a thieving level. 65, hell yeah. I'll get a lot of levels though, trying to get this talisman. Ooh, nice. Okay, cool. Now I can make the bottoms too. Oh my god, that got me another crafting level. Nice, okay, so let me see. Holy shit, I just uh, unlocked 22, so I can make the body now too. Oh, I got a medium clue. Hell yeah, man. I'm gonna do these. Yeah, I plan on doing these as well, man. I can get some Addy armor, you know, some some runes and stuff. So yeah, I'm, I'm packing, man. I'm going. Alright, well, I can't do this medium clue because it fucked me so hard. Like, no joke. Freaking medium clue inside the farming guild. And I'm one farming. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna put this in Watson for now and... Uh, you know, we'll, we'll tackle some of these skilling later, because uh, the more skills I can get, like 250, I get uh, more points. Alright, this one's dedicated to my, my boy Ultimate Iron Man Verif on his Karam Jolly Iron Man. This is actually really good XP though, no joke. 20 XP a rake, I'm down. Alright boys, let's get some real XP. 42! Who said farming was hard, dude? Not in Twisted League. Yo, hell yeah, dude. Five. Let's make the body. Nice. I have full uh, Zerikian now. Hell yeah. And a free, another crafting level. Sick. I can't wait to train my magic, man. I have the freaking gear for magic training. Oh, another medium clue. 
Okay, can I even do this? Alright, I'm pretty sure I can, alright. Okay, so I managed to make it to the third step, so... If I get lucky, I can get this done right here, right now. Dang it! Alright, come on. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. We're fine. Yes! Let's go, medium clue, first one on the account, man. Yes, let's get it, boys. This could be really, really good. Honestly, even the shit rewards is good for me at this point. Anything at this point is good. Here we go. Oof! Oh, that's fat. Yo, the Addy play body. Let's go. Best in slot for a hot minute. I can't even wear this, but... You know what? I'll take it, man. I will take it. Oof! Oh, eight! Fuck! Eat, eat! Okay, okay. So I have just been getting lucky then. I just got another medium clue. Oh, this one is so fucked. I can't even do this anyways. Equip Warhammer, Ring of Life, Pair of Mythic Boots. <laughs> yeah, wow. I got two medium clues within like a minute and none of them I can do. Oof. Oh my god, no. Damn it. Ah, that's so overpowered, bro. The range attacks don't hit hard. They hit like one or two. But damn, when they're melee distance, they AGS the f*** out of you, bro. God damn, that's that's messed up. I'm gonna have to pick up all my shit. Oh, that's a struggle. Okay, it's ranging me, so it's fine. The range attacks I can confirm is not really uh strong. But you just cannot afford to be next to them though. There we go. That should be 70 thieving. Nothing crazy other than a pretty cool milestone. So I wonder what my thieving level is gonna be by the time I uh, finish. Oh, yes! Oh, baby! Let's go, Xerx Talisman. Hell yeah, dude. Oh, yeah. Let's freaking go, dude. Oh, and I completed task, task 2 as well. Mmm, what is the points on this bad boy? Oh, ho, ho, very nice. Oh, man, that was fast. Honestly, though, I kind of want to stay here for a bit longer. I want to get a bit more money and, uh, you know, some more resources and maybe a few medium clues. So my next big goal is to unlock the next tier of Relic. And the one that I'm going to unlock is, well, you can't see it, I don't think, in the game, but I'll put an overlay on it. But one of them is the ability to choose the Slayer task that I can get from Kona. And that's what I'm going to go for. So I need uh, 200 more points. So the Xerx Talisman's got five different teleports. I need to unlock the heart, which requires Architectural Alliance, and the last one is Xerx uh, Chambers, which I need a tablet. But yeah, the three that I can do, which sends me to Hosidius, Sejian, and Lava Kench, is really good. That's pretty much half the map of Zaya, so yeah, I don't have to run around half the time, which is great. Oh, there we go. Yes, let's do it. I can do this. Um, Outlook? Infernal's the fastest. Let's go. Hell yeah. Yeah, this is a quick walk from here. Way better than just having to teleport back. Dude, this necklace is so nice. God damn. Okay, so uh, I've just been informed that I can get some really easy leak points with thieving. Um, if I get 75, thieving i can do the gem stalls and that is worth 250 points that's that's gonna just straight up uh, allow me to get the next unlock for the relics so but yeah there's a lot of really uh really good ones so yeah i'm gonna look more into it oh my god i just got another talisman all right well this one i'm definitely dismantling because uh, i have three so so yeah that's an easy 100 lizardman fangs 100 plus Lizardman teleports for my uh, necklace. Hell yeah, dude. Give me that shit. Alright, so I think I'm officially done with the stone chest. It's been a good uh, few hours here, but we got a lot of good stuff out of it. You know, the freaking talisman is just amazing. 75 thieving. So now I can steal from the gem stalls. Alright. Time to do these uh, thieving tasks and unlock my next relic. So, Oh, there it is. I found him. Okay. Alright, so this is a pretty big free point here for my thieving route. Yeah, that's that's nice. Okay. That's, uh, what is that? 50 points? Easy. Cool. Alrighty, here we go. Can I steal? Yes! That is awesome, man. That is 250 points. 
my dudes. Wow, you have earned enough points to unlock a new relic. Heck yeah, where's the relic? Uh, here it is. Ufu, uh, Hardcore Harvester, Arcane Courier. No, Unnatural Selection. This one is so much better. Look at this. When receiving Sir Tass and Farming Contracts, I can choose what I'm assigned. I'm basically hacking into the mainframe and I get to pick whatever the hell I want for my sl Slayer task. So I definitely want this before I train into combat. So I'm choosing it. Unnatural selection. It is done. YOLO. That's going to be it for this episode. I really hope you guys enjoy episode 1 of Soul Race from Scratch in the Twisted League. I will be putting out another video whenever I feel that there is enough content. But yeah, it should be soon because accelerated raids and perks are making the content fly by so freaking fast dude it's absolutely nuts but anyways if you enjoyed this project definitely let me know by liking this video i would appreciate that and anyways i also stream this on twitch so you can see the live action as well uh twitch.tv slash rice cup my franchise also open for anybody that is uh trying their hands on the twist league or just want to hang out while they play risk in general and if you don't want to miss the next video, definitely subscribe and ring the bell so that way you won't miss it. Alright, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys very soon.